Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Starface Clear as Day SPF 46. This product retails for $24. I am beyond excited to try another product from Starface and for it to be their sunscreen. I know that someone requested this on this channel. I'm sorry I'm just getting to it, but I really wanted to try out this sunscreen right now because I kind of overlooked this product and I wanted to go back and try it because I've heard so many people love this product and I've also seen it in Target and so I'm excited to try out this product. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. This product is also a 100% chemical filter sunscreen. I used to run from these products because there was a stigma there for a long time that chemical sunscreens have been known to cause a lot of damage to coral reefs, which I'm not debunking that. I've just done research that all sunscreens can, and so skincare news changes every day. There's no telling what it's going to say tomorrow and what it's going to say the day after that, but I am glad that we continue to do research and continue to educate ourselves on different filters and different products and their impacts and what they're doing to both the environment and your skin. The highlight sunscreen filters in this product are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octicrylene. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. A lot of times with sunscreen reviews, I always look to see if they cause a white cap on me because oftentimes if it causes a white cast on me people with darker skin wouldn't be able to use it but since this product is a hundred percent chemical that's not really something that I'm looking for with this product I have done a spot test and it's a 100% clear sunscreen and so that's not really something I'm looking for with this product specifically the big things that I am looking for though include does it cause acne this sunscreen is said to be designed to be friendly for acne prone skin which is kind of what started face has designed themselves after and so I will just be interested to see if this product backs up those claims. Another thing that I'm looking for with this product is just how it feels on the skin. It's been a long time since I've tried a 100% chemical sunscreen and so I just want to see if it's hydrating or if it's mattifying or what type of sunscreen it is. As for anything else I will be continuing to do check-ins so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product and also use it for the first time on camera. As I always do with my sunscreen reviews, I am in natural light right now to try to give you an accurate depiction of the white cast if there is one. This is a chemical filter sunscreen, not really worried about it, not really concerned about it. I am excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet. This is the very first impression of this product that I am having. This product comes in a pump. As you can see, the sunscreen is like kind of like a jelly texture. As I expected, there is no white cast with this sunscreen. I'm actually so surprised at how hydrating this is. This is a very hydrating sunscreen. The texture is very lightweight. It almost feels like an oil. I love the feel of the sunscreen. Wow. It's a very moisturizing sunscreen and no white cast as I expected. It feels like it... On my skin, it feels like an oil. When I put it on, it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. Like my skin doesn't feel suffocated right now. So that's about all I can tell you. I'm gonna continue using it and then I will check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. As I expected, this SPF did not cause any white cast whatsoever. It felt very light on the skin and it was also a very moisturizing sunscreen. It didn't cause any acne and I haven't used a lot of chemical sunscreens, but this just has a really amazing feel to it. It is very moisturizing, but I feel like all skin types could use it because it really just feels like a very thin primer. I noticed it deliver a pretty good sun protection to my skin. This is a higher concentration than SPF 30. I feel like that this sunscreen was designed to be good for all skin tones and also good for acne prone skin. This product is a very balanced sunscreen that doesn't dry out my skin but also does a great job at protecting my skin from the sun and feeling very lightweight and yet moisturizing but not suffocating. It's a very balanced sunscreen. It's just one that I feel like I will gravitate towards because 
because it has such a great feel to it. I would 100% recommend trying out this product, especially if you can use chemical sunscreen filters. I feel like the sunscreen will be great for all skin tones. I'm not for sure on that. I would be curious to see other reviews. This sunscreen is a clear gel sunscreen and it just has a great feel to the skin. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.